Mr. Speaker, uh, there's always time to celebrate extraordinary Americans, which is why I rise today. I rise to recognize American tennis star and proud son of Maryland's 5th District, Francis Tiafo. Last week, he became the first American man to reach the U.S. Open semifinals since 2006, and the first African-American man to do so since Arthur Ashe in 1972. Indeed, Tiafo is one of the only three African-American men in the history of tennis to advance out of the rounds and into the finals of the U.S. Open. Of course, we've been very proud to cheer Serena Williams, Sloane Stevens, who together won four out of the last 10 women's titles in the U.S. Open. Uh, not to mention an extraordinary young, young woman, Coco Gauff, who made it to the U.S. Open quarterfinals. Tiafo's accomplishments in the men's tournament is especially impressive, Mr. Speaker, considering his extraordinary story. Born in Maryland's 5th District, mine, to immigrant parents who fled civil war in Sierra Leone, Francis grew up living in a space, spare office, growing up living in a spare office at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in College Park, Maryland, where his father worked as a custodian. Indeed, earlier in his father had been part of the construction crew that built that tennis center. Noticing young Francis's upbeat attitude and love of the game, the coaches and staff of the center took him under their wing and helped him train to become one of the most promising American tennis players in recent memory. How proud they must be. We saw that training bear fruit last week when he made it to the semifinals by defeating one of the greatest tennis players in history, Rafael Nadal from Spain. Although Francis ultimately didn't win the semifinal, he showed the world that the future of American tennis is bright indeed. I had the opportunity of just talking to Francis just a few minutes ago, uh, and I'm inviting him down to the Capitol, and I want uh, all the Maryland members to meet him, but I'm gonna invite all of you to meet him as well, an extraordinary young man. I congratulate him, I congratulate his family, and I congratulate those coaches who saw a promising young man, took him under their wing, not because he was paying them, but because saw, they saw great promise in Francis Tiafo. Boy, were they right. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen.